Yo, Banana Boy here. I want to help you set up a project on Juicebox. Here we go. We will be covering everything you need to know about creating a project on Juicebox. If you have questions, find us on the support page in the Juicebox Discord. The first thing you'll need to do is connect your wallet and then click on the Design Your Project button. Let's start with appearance. Here you're going to give the face to your project. Start by filling in the project name and handle. You should probably fill in all the fields because later edits will cost you gas. Once everything is filled out, you can press save and continue onto the funding section. The first thing on funding is to decide if you want to have a funding target and cycle duration. Funding targets work to set financial goals to your project, basically the community operating cost. All the money that comes in a project goes to balance and generates tokens. If the balance is at any point bigger than the target you've set, this difference is called overflow. Anyone that has tokens can redeem them for a percentage of the overflow. So if you have a team or fixed spending you have to pay, you should probably set a funding target that will accommodate those costs. The funding cycle duration determines how often you can withdraw your target amount. So if you're paying people every week or have fixed monthly costs, you should take this into consideration when setting this up. Not having a funding cycle lets you distribute the entire treasury amount at any time. On to distribution. If your project consists of more than one team member, this is where you add their wallet address. If no other wallets are added, 100% of the funds will be withdrawn to the owner's wallet. And for the reserve token section, once spending is set, we can take a look at the reserve token section. The reserve tokens are an amount of the tokens generated each time a payment is made to the project that is going to be reserved for some assigned addresses that are defined for every funding cycle. Here you can set the percentage of tokens that will be reserved and who's going to get them and in what percentage. For example, if one ETH generates 100 tokens on your project, and you set the reserve to 10% and add two of your devs to get 50% of the reserve tokens, and then someone invests one ETH in the project, the investor gets 90 tokens and each of the devs get five. All right, and in reconfiguration, you're able to determine what type of strategy your project uses. No strategy means that there's no delay between when you reconfigure your project and the next funding cycle changes. So you could wait till one minute before the next funding cycle starts and change all the settings on your community. This is great for flexibility, but could set off some rug pull red flags for contributors. Three and seven day delay offer flexibility and insurance that you won't change the payouts or targets without a little notice to the community. It all depends on what type of project you're creating. And finally, the incentive section. Here you'll see two variables, discount rate and the bonding curve rate. The discount rate defines how much the value of ETH in relation to your token is going to change from one cycle to another. It's a compound system, so pay attention to that. The main goal here is to support and incentivize early supporters. The bonding curve defines how much ETH from your balance the token holders will be getting if they redeem. It is basically just a HODL reward, and together they can create real advantages for early supporters who stay with you for the longest. They are great tools with a huge impact on the treasury and you should give real evaluation to their impact on your structure. And that's how you create a project on Juicebox. Remember, if you need any help, hit us up on Discord.